Hey boys and girls, Mrs. Serpa is here again to read another story to you. This one is kind of like our weather today. The story is called Hurricane. And when, when there's a hurricane, there's wild wind and wild rain and just some wild weather, which is kind of like the weather that we're having today. So I'm gonna get rid of this umbrella. Okay, we are going to read the story Hurricane. If you stay tuned and read until the end of the story, there is going to be a chance for you to win a book called Hurricanes and Storms in 3D and it comes with 3D sunglasses. It is a nonfiction book about hurricanes and other storms. And I'm also going to give you some little cell phone suction cup props, like this one right here. I'll send a couple of these to you as well in the mail if you win the book. So if you listen until the end of the story, I will tell you how you can win. Okay, so this story is called Hurricane. And if you pay attention behind me, you'll see the trees blowing in the wind. You can't really see the rain right now, but it looks pretty wet out there. I can't find Hannibal anywhere, Mom, David said. I thought he'd be home when we get back from the store. I'm sure Hannibal is all right, Mom answered. Cats know more about storms than people do. But if it will make you feel better, why don't you and George go look for him while I put the groceries away? Don't go too far from the house, though. Your father will help you look as soon as he's finished securing everything in the yard. So their father is securing everything in the yard, boys and girls. That means that he is tying things down so they don't blow away, maybe putting some things away, um, on a porch or in a basement or in a shed so that they don't break or get ruined or blow away in the wind. There he is, David exclaimed. He and George peered through the gaps between the strips of tape they had put on the storm door. A thoroughly wet Hannibal peered indignantly back at them. Let's get him inside before the wind blows him away, George said. So there's a picture of them. You guys see the wind blowing all the leaves and the sticks around and Hannibal the cat is waiting right outside the door. Once back in, it's some wild weather out there. Could the wind really be strong enough to blow Hannibal away, David asked? Well, the radio said we could expect sustained winds of 50 miles per hour gusting to 90 any time now and the hurricane is still 50 miles off the coast look at the leaves out there it looks like a green blizzard george answered david listened to the walls of the house creaking against the wind if it's like this now what is it going to be like when the hurricane hits suddenly the lights went out nobody panic their dad called from the kitchen the electric lines must be down Hang in there, boys. We're on our way with flashlights and candles. So they're looking out the window. The rain is running down the window. They're watching the wind and all kinds of things blowing around. They had supper by the fireplace that evening. It felt safe with everybody together, even though there were creaks and groans and sometimes great roaring sounds coming from outside. The hurricane was in full effect. It was very windy and rainy. David and George took a hurricane lamp to bed with them. The storm had began to ease. Maybe the eye is passing over us, George said. I'd like to be in one of those weather planes, the ones that fly into the eye of the hurricane, where it's all calm and peaceful. Yeah, David said, though he wasn't certain he'd like flying into a hurricane. I wonder where the birds are now and the squirrels. I bet the squirrels are holed up in their trees, but I've read about birds being blown thousands and thousands of miles, maybe even clear across the Atlantic Ocean, George said. Do you think anything 
awful has happened outside? David asked. Who knows? We'll see tomorrow, George replied. Even if they looked out the window, boys and girls, it's really dark outside because of the hurricane, so they can't really see anything. The next morning, only one elm tree was standing near the corner of the yard. The day before, there had been two. The downed tree was lying across the neighbor's lawn. Look at that, David said. It could have hit Mr. Wilbur's house, and we didn't even hear it fall. Wow, this is great, George said. They circled the tree. It looks like a sleeping giant. Look at those big limbs and branches. It's like a jungle. Let's play safari. We never had a jungle to play safari in before. David didn't wait for an answer. He was already climbing the fallen tree. So they're going to use their imagination and act like the fallen tree is a giant jungle and they're going to go on a safari. Let's see what that looks like. David fearlessly led the expedition into the very heart of the jungle, stalking the mighty leopard. So in here I see elephants and leopards They're going on an imaginary safari in the fallen tree. The afternoon, they rode the seven seas with George at the helm while David searched the horizon for pirate ships. All the next day and the day after that, they journeyed to the stars and beyond. Looks like their cat Hannibal went on their journey with them. Sometimes they just sat and enjoyed the view. The tree was a private place big enough for secret dreams, small enough for shared adventure. What do we do this afternoon, George asked. I don't care, David answered. It just feels good being here. Then it happened. They woke one morning to an ear-splitting roar and the sight of men advancing on the tree with chainsaws. So it looks like they're using chainsaws to cut the tree. they do this David asked it's our tree it's our tree but it's in Mr. Wilbur's yard I guess that's how they could do it but they didn't even tell us David said feeling as miserable as he had ever felt in his life it was a great tree said George yeah David agreed a great tree so they're very sad now they can't use their imagination in their imaginary jungle on their safari, traveling the seven seas. David and George spent the rest of the day sitting under the surviving elm, watching the men haul away their tree. In the late afternoon, the sky grew dark and thunder rumbled in the distance. Hey guys, dad called, there's going to be a storm. The wind's kicking up. Come on inside before it starts to rain. David and George looked up at the old elm. This is a great tree too, David said. Yeah, George agreed. And if it fell, it would land in our yard. It means they would get to maybe keep the tree for their adventure. And then the end, there's a picture of Hannibal the cat looking out the window. Okay, boys and girls, all you have to do in order to win a copy of Hurricanes and Storms in 3D with 3D sunglasses is comment on this video in the comment section. You can tell me what your favorite part of the story is. You can tell me what you know about hurricanes and other storms. You can tell me anything you would like that has to do with the book or Hurricanes and Storms. You could even maybe tell me what you think about the weather today. 
and you will also get a little couple little cell phone props that just suction down and you lean your cell phone up against them so you can watch more of hey hey mac reads youtube videos or any other youtube videos or movies that you would like to see so i miss you all and hopefully we will get to go back to school soon see you later